Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a book review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the creative element from Scott Olgard. Now, you might remember, I uh, actually did a review for Scott Olgard before. It was not really a book review, it was a book test. Remember, I did the uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde book test. That was also from Scott Olgard, and I believe, uh, I believe they're self-published. All right, so what this is, is it is a collection of Scott Olgard's card tricks. It's 90 pages long, has 19 effects in it, and if you wanna see the trailer, this is it. What's going on guys, Scott Olgard here, uh, and I just want to talk to you a little bit about my new book, The Creative Element. This is a selection of my card magic that I've been developing over the last four to five years. Um, <clears throat> it's 92 pages. The name, The Creative Element, um, is basically because the effects in here are unfinished, and that's deliberate. They're finished for myself, but I state in the introduction that I don't expect anybody to perform these effects as I have performed them, because at the end of the day, you're not me, and I'm not you. And I've gone to great lengths within the book to explain how you can take each idea in here and apply it to your own performing style. I've tried as best I can um, to explain different ideas and different thoughts, alternative handlings as much as I can um, within this book itself. But if you have any questions in the meantime, please get in touch. And thank you very much for your interest. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. All right, so that was Scott Olgard. Uh, he's out in Leeds, okay? And so a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what is in the book? What's in the book? Uh, like I said, it's 90 pages, 19 tricks. You got three sections. The book is broken down into three different sections, and it's basically encompassing five years of Scott's work with card magic. Now, interestingly enough, Scott also has a YouTube channel, and his YouTube channel is guitar. So it's actually him playing guitar and singing. So he's also uh, a musician, a guitarist. You might want to go check out his channel. Uh, so the book now is broken down into, like I said, 19 tricks, three sections. Um, the first section is going to be with borrowed decks. Okay, so just a borrowed deck. You haven't done anything to it. He's going to give you five tricks uh, with the borrowed deck. And the middle section is a section that he's devoted to a slight that he calls the Nowhere Vanish. Okay? Now, the Nowhere Vanish is really just a, a side jog spread vanish, so if you're already familiar with that, he's just named it the Nowhere Vanish. Basically, uh, the cards return to the deck and it vanishes from the deck without you having to palm it off or ditch it, okay? And so he's got nine tricks with that, nine tricks with the Nowhere Vanish. And then his third section is with either deck stacks or gimmicks, and he has three tricks in there, and then at the end, he has a bonus coin trick as well. So you have some with borrowed decks, some with deck setups, some with gimmicks, some with vanishes, okay? Is it what I thought? Um, it's more than what I thought, actually. I mean, it's a book, obviously, and you think, well, it's a book about card tricks, but it's more than that. Scott actually has put in video explanations to some of the tricks, which is great, and I've never really seen this done um, with any other magic book. So what he wants you to do is download a program uh, to your smartphone that would allow you to scan certain pages and then a little video pops up while you're looking through the phone down at the book. Like the video appears on the pages of the book. It's really cool, like it's a live action thing like happening right in front of you. And he either explains a move or he goes over the presentation or he just shows you the effect. So that's really cool, like he's added modern technology into books. So there's a little bit of something for everybody, people that like books, you know, there's still some of us out there that enjoy uh, magic books. And then there's people that really love videos. And so what Scott has done is he's kind of married those two together in this. So uh, that was really cool. Positives. What are the positives to the creative element? Um, you know, it's always nice to get a peek into a creative mind like Scott Olgard. So the creative element is a wonderfully adventurous approach to both magic books and card magic. Negatives. What are some of the negatives to the creative element? You know, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. So these are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Um, for me, some of the tricks were a little knacky, a little dirty. And reading them through in my head, I was thinking, wow, that's not gonna work 100% of the time. Or you know, I just don't know how this maybe, but probably works great for Scott, 
but in my head, reading it back, I was thinking, man, in my performance, I didn't feel as comfortable that they would work for me. That was just me. Is it worth your money? Uh, it's $30. $30, it's a paperback um, booklet. It's like on the thicker side of a booklet, okay? And so uh, 90 pages, $30, booklet. It is self-published, and so when you self-publish books, that is uh, a little bit more expensive to do. So I don't really know what his profit margin is on that. $30 seems a little on the high side for this book, so I don't know. It, it's gonna be up to you whether this is something that you think uh, you wanna invest in. I think books are always valuable. I think books, um, especially from people they don't necessarily publish a lot, I think become more valuable. And so you learn over time as books either sell out or they become classics uh, that people then gravitate towards them and say, oh, did you read The Creative Element from Scott Olgard? No, oh my goodness, you know, it's sold out, now you can't get it. So you kind of have to be on the beginning of some of these things before they blow up and turn into something bigger. So I don't know, you know, uh, you're gonna have to see for yourself. Who would like this? I think anybody that's into, um, you know, a esoteric, card magic books or people that are already fans of Scott Olgart, people that just enjoy these little, you know, nuanced kind of card tricks that aren't as widely um, seen, you know, you're going to do some magic that's a little bit more creative, a little bit more on the cutting edge, a little bit more like on the, on the underground where you have not as many people doing these effects, I think might like this. People that just like to pick up, you know, new card tricks, I think would definitely love the creative element from Scott Olgard. All right, so that is my review for the creative element from Scott Olgard. I want to thank Murphy's Magic for allowing me to have this so that I can do the review for you. And if you want to purchase yours, you can find it at your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks. Bye.